Uh, hi everyone, uh, good morning. Uh, I hope that you are doing well. Uh, I miss you all and I hope um, that you are healthy and everything is good in your lives. Uh, I'm sure you are busy and I'm sure this is a new experience for you to get your education uh, via uh, uh, online courses. Anyhow, uh, uh, I would like just to go over the, the canvas with you. As you know, this is the only way to interface nowadays uh, between the faculty and uh, students. So uh, please make sure that you go to your account in the canvas and you activate go to notifications, all right, and activate uh, your uh, notifications so you could enable that all the announcements and you know assignments and whatever come to your email so you'll be able to read it right away you don't have to wait until you go to your canvas and check your messages and announcements so do all your configurations so take a look at your profile also uh, settings try to add a photo for yourself this will help instructors or faculty to know you and connect the name to the photo that's a good thing so just work a little bit in your profile add whatever you want uh, of course you will have the link for all the courses you have in this semester so for example with me you are taking the CPSC 101 uh, MATLAB um, and as you see in here I created modules for you and top in here I have created the, the, the assignment solution for you but I also provided the solutions for all the examples in the textbook and also the practice exercises uh, in the textbook so um, uh, please uh, you know when you read the textbook try to go sequentially through the chapter or chapters and make sure you try the practice exercises by yourself uh, give give it a try if you need some help go and take a look at the solution in here that's how it was how it is so don't rely too much on reading solutions rather than using them to help you to finish uh, or finish your trials so try always and also I will post the assignments in here for you uh, the solutions at once that you did uh, are uh, is over so you could review uh, that as you go on and uh, uh, module zero where introduction I have the syllabus for you that's you that's, uh, that's you know but also I added the downloads link as you know now we, we cannot go to the labs myself I cannot go to school uh, myself I don't have my own uh, I don't have my own uh, you know uh, the full version for MATLAB all I have is like a simple version a student version that you need to download it's like 49 bucks and I think it's worth it if you can afford it that is the best solution for you you have it in your desktop you'll be using that this semester and next semester and you know forever uh, and in, during your degree in many courses so if you have it you don't need to go to the labs all the time all right uh, in case you don't want to do that there is a trial version for for 30 days and this will give you online uh, online version here it is so you have to use your UB email to create MATLAB account they don't give you a free account or a free trial account for a Gmail account or Hotmail or Outlook accounts it has to be .edu account so once you create it it will have the same interface for the mad lab that we had in the lab in the lab okay the only difference that when you create your programs your file programs in here you cannot save them to the desktop so you cannot include them in your submission all you need to do okay to to uh, you know uh, to once you finish the program and it's working and you could create sections uh, as you wish so you could for example in here do it as uh, section for section one for example whatever section one all right <coughs> and you created in here you could cut and paste and add it to to dot m file I'll show you in a second so in here I could run it like this as you see in here so select the city from uh, the menu uh, Boston and then it told me whatever the ticket price uh, okay so this is a simple code where you you select the city and using patterns which is uh, in, explained in your in chapter nine in your textbook so if you select one uh, it will will be this i mean this is very expensive ticket so i could modify it like this you know 
um, to be whatever you know, um, you know, uh, you know, whatever reasonable price for a ticket. All right, we're gonna run it again. Okay, if I s select on you know, it will be for 21. Give me 421. Anyways, so it's a very easy thing. So you write your code exactly like the lab. The only problem you cannot have this file. You cannot save it somewhere. Cut it and all of that. So what I have uh, suggested to you, there is a, a notepad. This is a very important and very nice notepad uh, editor for pro for programs. So this is a link for it. You could download it and use it. I have downloaded it already so if I say notepad uh, plus plus notepad plus plus as you see in here so I could create a new for example file a new new in here and I could paste um, I could paste uh, my uh, oh, uh, uh, I could paste let me copy this uh, alright I hope I can copy it I'll be surprised if not allowed to copy this let me say in here okay alright so I'm not sure it seems like uh, I cannot even copy it in here is that the case let me check control V yeah yeah I was able to copy it in here yeah copy it so in here this is a file I could file uh, save as let's check if there is dot M uh, so this is what are the different programs you could save as you see in here so uh, you know, um, uh, let me check, check if there is MATLAB. Uh, I could save it as .m. Uh, let's say MATLAB Java. Uh, yeah, you see it in here. Okay, so matrix whatever. Like, okay, .m. Anyways, you need to save it so .m. This is will be fine if you save it like this. Let me check if there is. Uh, um, Anyways, it has to be saved as a text, as a text, so, uh, actually, this is might work, let's save it, so let's keep it, keep it as, for example, give it a name, okay, okay, whatever, MATLAB, uh, and, uh, one, for example, dot M. And of course you're gonna select so you could have like um, you know whatever you wanna save it. Just make sure you know where you're saving it. Save. Yep. 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 Go. Here you go. So this is that M file. That's what you need to include in your assignment. So that's the second solution. All right. So let's go back in here. So that's a MATLAB. It's a very easy. Again, you need to download it. You need to create an account with your dot edu account. All right. Um, the other thing is you could use, I added for you, you could use uh, Octave. Octave is a simulator for MATLAB, I think from MIT. Uh, it's much slower than MATLAB, but you know, there is two versions. There is online version and there is like a download. You could download to your computer. All right. And by the way, you could do, m and for, th for the purposes of this course, whatever we teach in MATLAB, you could use it in Octave so it will be perfectly fine so I already I have it in here so you have to create an account so just to create an account all right and you could so, uh, and again you have to use your uh, UB email account where you could uh, uh, log in all right and of course you could have different you know um, uh, uh, change theme this is one theme this is theme uh, make sure you know your password and uh, uh, okay you could share even the code with your colleagues or with your instructor so you just have to create an account and the same thing alright so this is the code this is the same code I have in here right okay same code I have in here so you could have whatever code you want so for example I, if I, I could do for example uh, a equals um, let's say uh, one, two, three, four. This is one vector, and B is another vector. I could make it like, um, you know, um, okay, uh, four, five, six, seven. This is another vector, and then I could C equals A, for example, plus B. All right, 
okay then so a plus b in here all right you don't have to have spaces you could have spaces whatever you want all right so just to make sure you have to save it okay save it it's not saving okay okay let me copy this okay uh copy it for now let me refresh maybe i did not log in for a long time so so in here as you see in here in here and then it's saved hopefully yeah and then run you see this is the a this is the b and this is the c so whatever you could do and this is online you don't have to install anything it's online just you just just uh, as you see i i have it in a favorites i have it i could go there yes there is a few cha a few things ca you cannot run in here like plotting is a little bit different but you know for the most of the course uh this would be fine you could write your code in here and save it uh, anywhere and and here i think you could get so this one you could for example get the files and upload them right you could get the files and upload them so you could create a new one in here um, so you could have uh, where is it uh, plus in here so you could have a new file call it for example test.m okay it added in here test.m in here so that's just an m you could you know uh, was you know uh, run it and display if you if you do at the beginning for example uh, clc clear as we learned before make sure you save it run it you see hello world so display hello world and this is hello world so this is is fine it's no no offer effort so in here and the thing in here is you could uh, save i'm not sure if you could save the uh, i mean the same thing you could cut them and save them in uh, in uh, in uh, you know in your uh, uh, um, uh, you know uh, node bad plus and submit the m uh, m file after you test it and you make sure it's uh, working right so it's very easy better option uh, in here is i told you how to download the download it for windows all right i tried that and this is for mac and this is my ga provided this link by the way myself i'm not a mac person i don't use mac i don't have mac in my house not with me not with my children not with me my wife uh, so i i have no way to test it so you need to rely on yourself and the internet okay for winter for windows i installed it it's in here as you see it in here and that's the interface that's the interface so you see this is the code okay this is the code in here all right and we run it you hit in here run and created a menu same program we run in MATLAB I showed you before so if you see senior for example it will give you the results in here uh, uh, the the uh, the command window in here okay this is the, the documentation this is the editor and this is uh, variable will display uh, things again uh, I mean um, uh, you know for the editor you could create for example in here it says a new script okay you could give it a name okay file uh save as suppose yeah file uh save uh, file as for example you give it a name test for example dot m whatever dot m save so test dot m and again you know you see the code we wrote in here we just copy it for time purpose okay the code in t1 this in here you know i'm copying this code copy and then i will go to the this top octave the, okay so i okay so to run it run okay so these are the 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 memory how is it saved and if i need to take a look at the results okay here is the results okay this is the results a little bit different but you know it does the whole job it does the whole job and it's a free it's a free it's a simulator yes i mean i mean yes i mean here we cannot run symbolic matlab uh and Ma uh, but we cannot i mean i think i'm gonna skip it this semester because you have to have a full version so we cannot have the full version of matlab but for most of the homework you have and the work and whatever we have covered so far these th these three options will be perfect will be perfect there is no excuse 
not to you not to know how to use that so we have all all of these things all right <coughs> uh, finally as you see uh, I have added uh, uh, the, the PowerPoint for chapter 9 and uh, a few videos to watch I'll add more videos to watch but the best thing is to after you watching the videos to go step by step on um, on the block and uh, try to understand what's uh, what's what's happening there that's it so you're ready and uh, you know this week and next Tuesday will be review for the materials we have covered in chapter 9 in chapter 8 in chapter 7 in chapter 6 and all of this will be the topics for your uh, second exam for those asked multiple times in this course we will have three exams first second and third uh, so the second is due next week and we'll have the third uh, uh, on May uh, in May uh, you know at the finals week should you have any questions shoot to the questions in canvas thank you so much